Hello, everybody. I'm Jenna. Today, we're going to be doing something very exciting. We're going to be doing an unboxing for a new game called Kanban EV. This is a like a redesign, uh, redo, or I'd say update for the original Kanban. So then they added the EV for this, which is electronic vehicle. So the original Kanban is just a regular traditional car with a regular gas engine. And this is an updated version. And this has new artwork and such, but it still has the same team working, which is Vital Lacerda and Ian O'Toole. So they tend to work together quite a lot. Recently, they've done quite a few different projects. So same team, new artwork, uh, now with the electronic vehicle. So we'll go ahead, take everything out, and see what's inside. I'm really excited. Okay, so this is the typical rule book. This is really nice. It shows all the different parts or pieces of the game. So everything is laid out here. This is what the setup should look like. All the different rules. This is quite a complicated rule heavy game, but once you kind of get used to everything, it's really easy to understand. And this is how you set up the final score, pretty much showing you how you win the game. The thing that I really like about this is it's very clean. You can see everything visually, all the examples, all the rules, everything is shown very cleanly and very simple to follow. There are a lot of rules, but that's just because this is a heavyweight game. But the benefit of having that rule book is it makes everything easy to understand and it's helpful for you to learn how to play a heavyweight game. So this is great. So here we have the solo rules and the reference book. So just from the game. So I got the upgraded version because I was a supporter during the Kickstarter, so it came with this, just showing you what you got. And the different cards. Very nice quality. Now, the thing about uh, Vittel and Ian are a lot of times with their games, there's a lot of icons and that represents all the specific things within the game. But one thing that's really cool is once you understand the icons and it's super easy to follow what they mean. So as you can see, here's, you know, all your icons. And once you understand what those represent, it's super easy to follow and go throughout the game because you know what you're doing. So that's really nice. This is a speed charger. I really like that they label each square. So in the expansion, you know what that is. That's a charger. That's the regular um, Kanban. There's a lot of them here. And the artwork is so nice, very clean. I love the coloring. Very nice. This is the second one. Oops. 
I'll pop all these out later. This is the third one. This is for the racetrack. This is a big game board. As you can see, it's quite big. They're pretty famous for having their huge boards, but it's really nice. There are specific areas for specific things. You can see where you're going to be racing the car. And then where the factory is. So right now, I've never played this. It's a little bit overwhelming to see everything, but as I go along and read, I'll understand what each area is for. But some of them I kind of already got. But again, very nice. Just the artwork is amazing, so clean looking. I think this is awesome. Of course, uh, you have your VP all the way around. This is the player board. I love the recessed part of the board. So now the fun part, the different components. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, this has a really good design of the inserts here. I believe this is Game Trays. So they're a great company for designing inserts. It looks very nice. I think this is for the cars, but I could be wrong, but I think so. So different cars. Very nice. The one thing that I didn't include in my order for this game is the metal cars. You can get that as an add-on, but I chose not to do that just because it's just pure aesthetics. So I feel like I always kind of like the wood aesthetic part, I think that's better. But again, that's just my personal preference. I think this looks really nice and very clean. So I decided not to include the metal. So if you want to see that, you're going to have to look at somebody else's review who has the metal because I didn't include that in mine. Okay, so I have four different colors for the different players. We have red, blue, green, and black. Very nice. I think it has a really good different color design. And some games, I think their colors are a little bit too similar, you know, red, orange, or red, and pink. So it's a, almost a little bit too similar and hard for some people who might have some sort of uh, a hard time differentiating colors. So I think this is a good design. And here you have the different car parts. So you have chips, as you can see. So there's symbols on chips. This is for gas. Yeah. This looks like uh, for directions. Obviously this is for the engine. That's for transmission. I'm not sure exactly what this is. It looks like maybe for a charger, but I'm not sure. 
I will find out when I look in the rule book. This is very unique. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be looking like. Again, I'm not sure, maybe this is a battery or some sort of power pack something. One more car, I forgot, a gray one, missed that one. So now there's five different car colors. This is a typical representation for an AI, like Sandra, uh, that sort of if you want to play solo or play two players, but you want to add on an extra challenge and have another, you know, AI automated like Sandra. So obviously this is a meeting related. I'm not exactly sure something with meeting. I don't know. Very unique part. I think this is just additional pieces. If you lose something, there's a few additional ones and some other pieces. That's very nice of them to give that. There's a lot more parts in here. Looks like maybe some sort of con construction pieces. I don't know. Looks like like quotes, like speaking bubbles. Same thing here. More of those. Again, I will find out more once I look in the rule book what those four, but they're cool looking. Again, really good color choices, too. Not sure. Yeah, there's a lot of different parts to this. They're very famous for having lots of different components. So it's definitely a little bit overwhelming at first to see all these parts. But again, once you read everything and kind of work through what they are and what their purposes are, then you'll, you'll understand better and you'll be able to get through it. It just takes time to figure out everything beforehand and kind of get the gist of it. So yeah. Looks like a meeting card. This seems to be related to producing something and think it's for solo cards, so that makes sense. And this is related to meetings. I'm not sure what these are for. I don't know. Maybe some sort of goals? I'm not sure. Again, I, I don't know what these are for. <laughs> Again, that's just something you're going to have to read the rule book, see what all the game components are for, and you'll get a much better understanding of what the setups are for, the cards. Um, some of these pieces I know are for meeting. Some possibly are goals to achieve, maybe. But we'll see. 
there's more. <laughs> okay. Obviously, this is an aid explaining what each of the different pieces are. I really love when they include that. <laughs> so it has like the final score and the game um, each week, meetings, design test, if you have a penalty, what you have to do, uh, each department task, what you have to do. I'm assuming this is related to playing solo um, or just a variation. I think they have a two player variation, maybe three players. I'm not sure I'll have to look, but they do have different variations. So this is related to that. So this is for solo. Okay. So again, beautiful colors, beautiful artwork, a lot. And I mean a lot of different components. So all wood, which I love, that's, that's my thing. And again, remember, I didn't include the metal car upgrade because I just didn't feel that it fit because everything else is wood except those. So I just didn't think it was for me, again, personal. But I like the wood cars. I think they're very nice. I think they're a very good fit for this. And the icons are great. There's a lot of them. They're everywhere. And this is a heavyweight game. So it's all about efficiency, uh, electric car, being efficient, production, and how they make them, how they design them, how they test them, the performance. So all of that's included. So this is a very, I would say, engine-based sort of game. So yeah, just make sure that you can find a way to make it the most efficient possible and make the production efficient and that way you'll get points and you will win the game. So that's pretty basic. Again, it's just that there's a lot of different things to do. I think that's why they consider it a heavyweight game because there's so much to do. There's so much included within the production process. A lot of little, little tiny parts that all make everything and you gotta make sure all of it works out and make it as smooth as possible to get your points. So the colors are great and I know I've said that many times but I I love the design. I think it's so beautiful. It's great. I cannot wait to dive in, learn all the rules, and play the game. So let me know what you think so far. Do you like this? Are you a big fan of Lacerda? You know, do you like his games? And do you want to see me do anything with this? Do you want me to play it, review it? Let me know what you want to see related to this game of Kanban. If you've liked this, please click like. If you're on Facebook, click like on there, share, spread the word of this video. And if you want to provide support in other ways, I do have a Patreon. So you can take a look in there, check out and see what the different levels are. Starts with a dollar, I think, and you can go up from there. So see what fits you and how you want to support monthly. Um, there's a lot of different perks for that. Or if you want to just do a one-time buy me a coffee, like a tip, you can take a look and it says buy me a coffee. And I have a link down below right there. So you can click on that and any amount, a one-time amount, whatever you feel it's worth, any amount I really appreciate. You know me, I love coffee. <laughs>